all right just wanted to do another one of these short videos and kind of start a new um or at least potentially start a new series on uh talking about conservatives in america um pending title right now is you know to be a conservative how to be a conservative why are american conservatives like this you know some kind of some kind of situation like that um and i guess for this first you know video i just want to talk about how um you know that comes from a place of trying to explain why uh, american reactionary politics uh, american fascism american republicanism the alt-right maga um neoconservatives paleoconservatives you know moderates right even liberals um and kind of really get into the psyche of what makes the average American conservative the way they are. Um, to kind of cover, cover a couple bases right off the bat, um, you know, as many people know, uh, there's a strong religiosity in America that's, of course, Christian-focused, but, um, you know, uh, Judeo-Christian, as like conservatives like to say, um, which I think is just cope for Jewish conservatives in America to, to include, because last time I checked, the Catholic Church's official doctrine was that Jews killed Jesus for like hundreds of years up until the 50s or 60s or something like that. Um, so that kind of like um, forced solidarity between those two religions seems a little much and also not true, um, considering the anti-Semitic history that so many things in America have. Um, but just, you know, not to go too tangential, um, it's just the country is very much focused around a Christian based, um, culture and government. And, you know, um, people like Thomas Jefferson, serial slave rapist, uh, Thomas Jefferson, you know, created a, uh, you know, made, try and make sure in the, I don't know if it was the constitution or declaration, it must've been the constitution or something, bill of rights. I don't know, man. It's all just, uh, rich property owning white people law stuff um so whatever it is you know they uh they have it in there that they don't want the the official religion of the country to be anything christian um and i think that's good it's just that it also kind of creates like this interesting um relationship that i think people believe that we can have which is separation of church and state but that's in my view and um a not real distinct, you know, it's an irreconcilable difference between religion and the state to have such, a, you know, nobody, when they interact in society, sets aside their religion and says, ah, yes, separation of church and state. I should think about my society separate from my religion. No spiritual religious person will ever think like that. Um, so this construction that these things can be separate, even codified in law that we don't have a specific state religion, just another example of how that doesn't actually matter and affect it. Um, American conservatives, American conservatives also come from a, a place of fear. Um, there's lots of like fear of you know of, of immigrants, fear of like um, leftists and like women or minorities in general. Um, you know, there's just a lot of like uh, amygdala activity going on, and that's what the science share or uh, shows, and uh, plenty of data before that as well. And uh, if you kind of just listen to the philosophy of it, it's it's all in there. Um, you know, this they they are not coming from a place of love. They are coming from a place of dominance and might makes right, and um, status quo perpetuation, and um, you know, not a whole lot of uh, consideration for people that are trying to ask for help or trying to say that things things aren't right, things aren't okay. Um, and yeah, I mean, back to the whole status quo thing. There's like this desire to perpetuate what is, to justify what is, to kind of um you know any I, I mean i don't know what it is but it's like this conditioned reactive impulse in americans to kind of just start um parroting like capitalist arguments and say a bunch of nonsense um that's that's just not accurate it's just not true and that you know they're not even willing to consider the arguments made um you know other people's other arguments because they're just so hell-bent on defending the system and they don't even know why I mean, if you ask people, you know, in the moment why they're doing that, they don't even know why. Um, but there seems to be some kind of, like, um, you know, desire for preservation of, like, our alleged values and this, like, traditionalist um, compulsion to, uh, I mean, uh, you know, I'll go more into it over time, but there seems to be these critical components that define American conservatism. And uh, I really want to get into that over time. And then uh, also talk about, you know, kind of specific issues and um, when do things do come up, uh, you know, 
talk about why the way they are, you know, the, the way they are, how they're reacting and, and, um, you know, acting to certain things in America, whether it's, you know, the blue lives matter movement, um, against black lives matter, whether it's the transphobia that seems to be on the rise again in America, whether it's, um, you know, uh, hatred of Latin Americans, uh, you know, the whole like build the wall thing against Mexico, Trump's campaign, um, of course, hating and blaming on women and, and, and constantly putting them into this like category of how they have to exist. I mean, the list goes on. So I think what we'll do is just maybe pick specific things and do like the most, you know, not random, but maybe like it, can, it could end up being super specific at random points. It could be just a normal um you know, just kind of general conservative, you know, tackling their nonsense type of stuff. But um, whatever, you know, whatever it ends up being, um, you know, we're going to try to talk about it and, and dissect it a little and see what we can do. So, um, yeah, thanks for thanks for checking this out and uh, we'll see what we can accomplish in the future with this. Um, hopefully y'all. Yeah, have a good time. Have a good day. Uh, take it easy and I uh, wish you well. Be well.